Iron Claw, directed by Sean Durkin, is a movie inspired by the true events of the 1980s pro wrestling superstar family, the Von Erichs. This was a slower burn than I thought it would be. This movie is not what it's marketed as, and I don't think that's a bad thing. I went into this movie thinking it would be a championship sports biopic, but in reality, it's all about the scene work in order to showcase the relationship of this family in order to tear your heart out. There is something so interesting about the dramatic irony of these men being at the height of their craft, career, and sport, being the physical image of strength and masculinity, when actually being the most vulnerable and fragile they could ever possibly be. The movie feels a little slow and dry at times, but that's intentional. It's trying to imitate real life. Nothing is incredibly too cinematic or theatrical about this movie. This is because they want to put you in the rooms of these conversations. They want you to feel like you're part of the family because when the tragedies happen, they want them to feel genuine and hit harder. And it really works. Zac Efron gives a phenomenal performance in this movie. His eyes tell all. They go from being filled with pride and love for his brothers to slowly diminishing into screaming with pain and inner turmoil that he could never try to possibly hide. The last 30 minutes of this movie should have gotten him the Oscar nom, in my opinion. In my opinion! The last couple scenes of this movie are just gut punches. If the 15 pounds of muscle that these actors put on weren't impressive enough, they are doing legit pro wrestling fight choreography that genuinely made me say, damn, out loud multiple times during the movie. Physical dedication that these men put into this film does not go unnoticed. Cautionary themes of toxic masculinity, guilt, and pushing yourself and others too hard are tackled very well. But be mindful going into this movie if you or a loved one has a history of abuse or mental illness. I definitely needed a trigger warning going into this movie that I didn't get, and when the credits were rolling, I could not stand up. I give the Iron Claw 3.5 out of 5 stars. Follow for more, and follow on Twitch.